morning to you. I am speaking to you because you know the Father. Because you know him who is from the beginning, I speak to you because you are strong and because the word of God lives in you and because you have overcome the illusion. You are born again. Nirmala Devi says, those who say they are born again feel the all-pervading power of God around them, in them. But if they cannot feel it, they are not born again. The same attention you've placed on my voice, place it on his love. You may be able to feel it in your feet or where those hands appear to be. Place that hand over your heart and say, I am love. I am spirit. I may look like this right now, like this body with its hand over its heart, but I am pure awareness. Pat Nolan says to wake up from the dream is to wake up from a deep depression. Peace was not to be found there. Love was not to be found there. Happiness was not to be found there. That's why you felt like you felt before you found this, before you woke up. He said you journeyed through the darkness of your own illusion until you got still and discovered I am the light. He says when you get to this point where nothing can rattle your cage, it's because you're no longer in one. That's what it means in the Bible, absent from the body present with the Lord. As the Lord, you're aware of that body, but it's not you. Ramana Maharshi says there is no you. There is only the state of freedom. Be that. Be free like the sky. Be still like the hill. Accept change like the seasons. Be silent like complete emptiness. You are that. Place your hand out in front of that body like you're waiting for God to place his hand in yours. And close that body's eyes and feel his hand in yours. His hand is a vibration, a tingling, a coolness, a sureness that the worst is behind you and something big is in front of you, that big dream is coming true for you. You're no longer waiting on a miracle, waiting for it to happen. You're thanking this presence. You're thanking this silence. You're thanking that vibration. Feel it and thank it. Thank you for revealing yourself to me. Thank you for showing me that as long as I'm feeling you, I am being fulfilled. And it's not a mental procedure. Sri Mataji says it's a procedure of the heart, which is thanksgiving. She said, look at the flowers. They are giving thanks to God. Their whole being is nothing but thanksgiving. They're not worried about being plucked or that they will die tomorrow. As long as they're living, they're giving thanks just by being. Look at everything. Look at the candle. What is it? It's thanksgiving. Everything that is created is giving thanks. What about us human beings? Because we have language, because we can say thank you, it's become superficial. We've lost our depth because we have language. There's no language for the silent expression. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, or thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Only to touch, to hold the feeling of gratitude, which is love. You're here to love, to be a strong enough vessel to hold this love, this light. It's powerful and you're holding it and you're watching the one holding it, but you have to pour it. You have to stop being scared, timid. You have to stop pretending to be weak. You're pretending to be worried. Fill his hand in yours and start. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.